Hi, and welcome back for another Schoology tutorial. Uh, this one I'm going to focus on your adding materials pull-down menu in your course, and uh, we're just going to talk about adding folders and nesting and some of the options you have with them, so it'll be brief. Uh, in your Add Materials button, when you click Add Folder, your basic creation window pops up, right? This is your editing window to show. So you have to title your folder, so I'm just going to call this a demo folder. And then my options obviously are, are colors, so I can choose whatever color I want. I will choose orange. And then I have a description. So you can write in here anything you want, or you can leave it blank. It doesn't have to have a description um, unless you want kids to uh, you know, know more about what's inside of that folder. Maybe it's here's resources for your upcoming unit of study. Uh, but usually the title of your folder is going to be fairly clear for students, and they'll know kind of where to go. Uh, one other thing that I've seen used in the past is color coding folders based on when they're being used. Um, using the green means go. Uh, you may use like a green, yellow, red, like a stoplight or traffic light signal. Um, that you know, green is current, yellow is the previous, and red is older units of study that you've gone into in the past. Um, or you can use whatever color code system you might like uh, to use with your course of study. Uh, the rest of this, as I said, is your editing window. You'll see much of the same things you're used to using in uh, most editors for text um, down at the bottom. This will tell you, uh, you can have dates of when it's available for students. So if you don't want to have a folder available indefinitely, you can have it available for a starting and ending time, kind of this window of opportunity. Um, here, you can publish on a immediate kind of basis. You can leave it unpublished. Published versus unpublished for everything in Schoology just means that you can see it and students can't if you leave it unpublished. Published means everyone can see it. So keep in mind how much you want your students to be seeing and in Schoology because eventually like you know the lockers in all of our hallways or backpacks uh, that students bring in they become really cluttered and um, keeping them tidy and organized is generally going to be to everyone's benefit. So published and unpublished, or you can have a date range or a start date of when they can publish. So if you're preparing for something in the future, you could have a publish on a start date, and then uh, magically it starts that day. Um, so you don't have to worry about remembering to go in there and get things started. So that is the basics of creating a folder. Um, once you create it, it will go immediately down to the bottom of your um, course. One trick that you may want to find uh, pretty useful once you start having quite a bit of information in your course, as I do, see when I hover in between um, courses, uh, tutorials, you'll see here, this is my title. And then this is, if you were to add a description, this is where it would go right underneath. Or here's an example of one with no description. Um, I've used unit with a name and then some dates to kind of get people to um, you know, think about what folder they may want to go into. Uh, you'll see I did some color coding here as well with my folders. The other thing that I wanted to show you is if you hover in between, there's a little plus. If I click there, it allows me to insert something right in that location. As I showed earlier, when I clicked and, and added my folder, it went all the way to the bottom. If you didn't want it to be in the bottom, you would want to add it in this way. Or once it's at the bottom, you can simply drag it by clicking on it and dragging it up and moving them around. So you have a couple options. Put it at the bottom, drag it where you want, or the easier, I think, is to click here and then insert it where you want it to be. So that's the basics of adding folders to your course. Hopefully you found this useful, and we will have another tutorial for you to check out in the future. So good luck creating your folders.